this room. <laughs> Not LGBTQ plus friendly. We need to check for pet bugs. Hi, Zans Zans. My name is Dan. Welcome to the world of extra. Good morning. Good morning, Chanel. Oh my God, Stan and Stewie, you guys woke up so early. It's 6 a.m. Oh wow, let's go. PM. <laughs> <laughs> we pretty much just rotted the whole day. It's one of those days. What better way to fix our mental health than to ruin our sleep even more? Oh wow. So I decided tonight, as if our sleep isn't horrible already, we are going to go to a capsule hotel and spend a night there together. I'm excited. But it's not just any capsule hotel. It's a first class capsule hotel. You guys know that a couple of years ago, I went to a capsule hotel by myself and that one was just like a basic little capsule hotel. Hotel. It was so much fun, but it was also the worst sleep worst I've ever, sleep had, I've in ever had in 2021. You could hear everybody farting. You could hear everybody's cracking joints. You could hear people having a good time. Ah! And you could even hear everyone's bronchitis. <laughs> Tonight is going to be so much fun because we're going to do it together. And we got two different rooms because they're actually different classes. So first things first, let's pack. So which bag should I use? This one! Stewie, what are your essentials for tonight? First, my Buy Extra Cow tote bag. Mine would be my Buy Extra Cow journal. I'm gonna wake up refresh in the morning and journal. This candlestick so I can light the way, but also at the end of the night I can turn it off and shove it up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Into the bag you go. Melatonails pills, because we all know what happened last time I slept at a capsule hotel. I didn't. How about your relaxing lavender spray? You're right. We need to combat the anger and the irritability after the lack of sleep we're gonna have tonight. And the smell of- <laughs> <laughs> I'm a simple boy. I just need my skincare, my pajamas, and a plushie. <laughs> Definitely not her. I'm going to take fur with me. Let's go. Fought back. <sighs> you fucking thought. Okay, we made it to the capsule hotel. It's in Ichigaya. As you can see, it's right here. It says first cabin. Do you guys remember when I went fishing? It's literally right across from the fishing place. Before we go in, let's read some reviews, but I want to read some one star reviews because those ones are the juicy ones usually. <laughs> okay. Because we're going to stay there overnight, we are going to connect to their public Wi Fi, which means we need protection. And what better way to stay protected than downloading Surfshark VPN? As you guys know, Surfshark is an app or browser extension that allows you to place your device anywhere in the world as if you were in that location. By doing this, you can get a lot of features. In this specific scenario, you guys know that public Wi-Fi is a goldmine for hackers, and Surfshark encrypts your online data to make sure all your personal information and your browsing history are hidden. We don't want to walk away from our staycation with our bank information stolen. Surfshark, Surfshark please, please protect, protect us. us. Also, the security isn't very good. We don't want to be tracked. With Surfshark, you can change your IP address to make sure you're not being tracked. Also, there are a lot of amenities, but I feel like Stewie and I will literally just watch shows on Netflix all night. <laughs> and with Surfshark, you can unlock websites and content that are not not available in your own location. Should sure. you watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians tonight? With Surfshark, you only need one account to protect all your devices. You can get all of these with three extra months free if you use my code EXTRA. Click, Click the, the link, link in the description, description box, box and thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring our staycation. Station. We're in a photo booth right now because we're gonna talk shit about the first cabin. <laughs> they have a lot of amenities like monster dryer, micro bubble shower head, bar lounge, nut bar. I do love me a good nut. <laughs> lounge underscore manga. <laughs> With that said, the overall rating is actually pretty high, but here are some one-star reviews. I used it in the summer of 2022, but it was damaged by bed bugs. You guys know the recent infestation. I don't want to walk out with a bunch of bed bug bites. A normal capsule hotel close to the station with no sauna, etc. Girl, go to a sauna. Worst female customer next door. What does the capsule hotel have to do with your bitch-ass neighbor? <laughs> I will never- <laughs> 
That was the scariest bug I've ever seen. I will never use it again. Footsteps in the cabin and bathroom are drums and earthquakes every night. I think it will close. Well, that was a year ago, and surprise, WW, it's still open. The fire alarm went off in this fucking stupid hotel in the middle of the night, and your mother slept with you all night? Cheers to that. With that said, I'm so excited to go to this fucking stupid hotel. Vamos. So we skedaddled our way to First Cabin Capsule Hotel. I booked the rooms online, so it was a pretty straightforward check-in. You guys, you can literally see my eyes light up when I saw the free thing. And of course, as a Filipino, I had to get every single one, even though I didn't need any of them. You know what they say, what is free is mine. I paid for rooms with breakfast, so I asked the lady about the breakfast time and everything, and she was like, turn around, it's right behind you. We were in shock, we couldn't stop laughing because it was literally just this granola dispenser. When you walk past the lobby, you see the bar area, there's a bunch of shelves with books as well, and the common area, which is the only place in the building where you're allowed to eat. No, you're not allowed to eat in your capsule hotel room. Someone was literally playing Valorant. Massive TV. Let's go to our rooms. Except we're not. We took the wrong elevator because we ended up in an office, which Loki looked like the back room. I was como se dice shook to say the least. We're literally lost. <laughs> we don't know where the rooms are. Apparently it was by the lobby and you needed your key card to access the elevator. The hallways were really dark. It was kind of giving bad vibes, honestly. It also kind of smelled moldy. But we found the elevators to the room and we were honestly getting so excited. <laughs> Moment of truth. Everyone keep silent. The fucking door needed some grease because it was really loud. And we ended up hearing that door all night. These are the business class capsules. They're big. No space for suitcases in the capsule, so they put it outside. There's also hair freshener, iron, humidifier, kettle. Room 4C21. This is my room. This is the first class capsule. It's massive, as you can see. It's around 13,500 yen per night. That is actually really expensive. Considering the fact that you can stay at a standard business hotel in Tokyo for around the same price. And capsules aren't even real rooms with a lot of privacy. But this is what the room looks like. <laughs> This is the first class room. This is the one I have. We are going to see Stewie's room shortly as well. It's so quiet and noisy at the same time. Because it's so quiet, you can literally hear every single movement of every single person. And because of that, everything is so amplified. It's so loud. I bet everyone in this hallway can hear me whisper. That's what I'm scared of. I'm trying not to, like, whisper too loud. This is an experience, all right? I really didn't remember it being this quiet. <laughs> Okay, I know we're sitting on the bed already, but one of the complaints was there were pet bugs. So I think before I have any more interactions with this fucking bed, we need to check for pet bugs. Let's see. Okay, everything's good so far. That's just my booger. <laughs> Crime scene. Oh, there's That is a win for the LGBTQ plus community. I think we should turn on the TV and blast the volume. <laughs> okay, the bed doesn't have bed bugs, but do you think it has cum stain? No, but I'll be the first. <laughs> also, it looks like you can lock the room. You just have to go like this. Security right there. I had to bring my own decoration. Yes, I brought that from home. Anyway, are you ready to check out your room? Yeah, I'm kind of scared. Like, if this is the first class room, what is the economy room going to look like? <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> This is Stewie's economy class cabin. We ended up seeing a vacant business class one. So this is what it looks like. I think it's pretty much like an economy class cabin, but it's taller. These are the economy class capsules. They're what everyone knows as capsule hotels. As expected, it's a very intimate, cozy little capsule. As a comparison, this is nine hours hotel, the one I stayed at a couple of years ago. Definitely more minimal. Unlike the other one, the ladders are on the side, so it's a little bit hard to get into. This is what it looks like with two people. It's not as tiny as you think. Casually just flipping everyone who walks past. Next to the bed, they have the AC control, light switches, a headphone jack for the TV, and a USB-A port. They also have a nice little storage area with a key that you can carry around. Did the last person's store is fucking Invisalign because it smelled like bad breath in here. Let's blast some black paint. And that's exactly what we tried to do, but the TV only plays from the headphone jack on the wall. I don't know about you, but I'm having so much 
much fun. <laughs> I love this room. It's so nice and cozy. I might like this more than the first class, actually. And also, I love that you can set up straight like I thought it would be, like, tighter. Uh. With that said, we also checked for bed bugs, and luckily, there was none in this room as well. Yes, you can hear everyone snore. <laughs> the bathroom is a shared area. It's really nice and clean. You also have to take off your shoes and put on the slippers when you have to shit or pee at the urinal. Standard Japanese toilet with wash lid. Nice, clean, cozy, 10 out of 10. There's also a men's spa on the first floor. It's pretty much where people shower and apparently there was a hot tub. But no one was there because it was out of service. Before you head out, make sure you lock away all your valuable belongings. And flip your juicy middle fingers to say fuck you to all the thieves. Let's go try out their dinner options. Are you excited? I'm kind of excited. This is so interesting. What do you want? I kind of want takoyaki. Should I get the crab tomato green pasta or the crab tomato green pasta? I think the crab tomato green pasta. Let's get the crab tomato green pasta. But I'm feeling like it. I might get a crab tomato green pasta. It says it takes time, like four minutes. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> that looks disgusting. I'm excited. Mm, Does that smell good? <laughs> this is literally the breakfast. <laughs> they also have all you can drink beer tap for 1,000 yen per hour, but they also have a cocktail bar. What is this bullshit? Tequila, recommended for men. Cassis. Recommended for women. Have you not met my best friend Nana Migoto? <laughs> that bitch is a tequila girl. If anything, cast this first two weeks. Japan needs to calm down with these gender roles. Really? Alcohol? Alcoholism does not choose gender. Alcoholism chooses the party animals, so it don't matter, baby. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> it honestly doesn't look that bad. That looks amazing. <laughs> Yeah, microwave foods in Japan aren't bad. They're actually really good because a lot of people eat them from the convenience store. They're not necessarily healthy though, of course. Yeah. They're literally processed. <laughs> Girl, am I in Italy? Is it good? <laughs> this is so fucking yummy. Mmm, <laughs> why is that so good? Best pasta ever. <laughs> mm. Oh wow, you hate it. They're also playing a really good anime. Okay, so Sam fell asleep. And I'm gonna take his money to go get some ice cream over there. Oh, fuck! Fucking rip your face off, bitch! Lady Bordin. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you're a Bordin. Okay, let's get chocolate ice bar crunky. That looks so yummy. Crunky. Ew, it looks like back knee. Get that grenade out of here. 10 out of 10. So <sighs> what should we do tonight? Pajama they have is not LGBTQ plus friendly. Okay, you guys, I think it's time to go to our skincare. I'm so tired. <laughs> okay, you guys, it's actually pretty quiet in here. This time is not the capsule itself's fault that I'm not getting enough sleep. It's literally on me. The bed is so comfy. The capsule hotel is so quiet. But it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. <laughs> Let's go to bed. Good night. We are on our way to get some bullshit granola for breakfast. Can you believe I paid an extra 1,200 yen for this? Dewey was feeling so horrible from last night, but me? I feel amazing. <laughs> 
You guys, I could not approach that granola dispenser for the life of me. I was so embarrassed. But we built up the courage to ask for bowls. Here we are dispensing our pathetic little granola. At least they have some agave syrup and they have soy milk. And guys, best bowl of granola I ever did have. <laughs> Is it the price I pay that's causing me delusion to love this bowl of granola? Stewie was upset. It was a very calm, gloomy day. The cherry blossoms were out lining the beautiful river in Ichigaya. The ducks in the river were swimming with their nice little flappy feet. I would say that that was another successful day of saving the bees. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you again on the next video next week. Bye!